Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Invader Doom here and I am back in Ankhbot for episode 2 where we were going to go over timers, quotes, and the giveaway system. Uh, the timers and quotes is going to go by kind of fast and then giveaway is going to take me a little bit. So I'm going to try and move through timers and quotes pretty simply. There isn't a whole lot to them uh, and then we're going to go into the giveaway system. So in the last video, we covered the, uh, some simple commands. Uh, we covered the dashboard, we covered the console, and how to log in, the whole nine yards. So now we're going to start on timers, quotes, and giveaway. And basically, to just kind of jump right into this thing and explain what timers are, because I'm sure you didn't come here to listen to me ramble, so we'll jump right into this. Uh, to start at the top, you have settings. Now, this is link timers to commands. Now, the reason that you I don't personally do this is because, for instance, um, if somebody wants to know about my website, I have a command for that. If somebody said, wants to know about the credits, I have a command for that. I don't have, my commands are not the same thing in my chat that my timers are. So I do not link my timers to commands. If you do click enter, what it will do is when you create a timer, it is also going to create a command with the same response, the same everything. So what I kind of like to do is I just leave it at false. That way all my timers and commands are completely separate. You have interval and minutes. Now, I used to keep this at like five minutes and a minimum of like, you know, five chat lines. Uh, that was when I was kind of new, it was when I was a little bit smaller. It kind of kept my chat, looked like it was moving, you know, like it was posting stuff. But uh, as I've gotten more views and more followers and everything like that, I've actually had to increase it to about 20 minutes and about 20 lines of chat. Now, to create a timer, as you can see here, I already have a bunch of them down below, but to create a timer, all you do is you enter a name, test, uh, active, whether you want it to be active or not, true or false, and then, whoops, uh, and then you just go here, this is a test, uh, you aren't going to see this, but it's here, and then you click add modify. And down here at the bottom, you're going to see where it comes up. It says test. This is a test. You aren't going to see this, but it's here. I said you aren't going to see this, but it's here because uh, for some reason or another, it just does not like to work well. When I'm recording, um, it, it, it's going to be strange. I would be really surprised if I managed to get this to work. So I'm going to put it down to zero minimum chat lines and five minutes to see if my bot will post one of these random uh, timed commands. And it's really nice because if you want to advertise uh, something you've been working on, uh, hint, hint, uh, my Invader Doom headquarters, invaderdoom.com. I'll talk to you more about that later. But anyway, um, like I also do daily inspirational quotes when I stream. So this reminds people daily inspirational quotes uh, type QOTD to check it out so that'll the bot will automatically post that and then it'll remind people that they can do that uh, that's really all there is to timers I mean that's just it's just an automated system if you want your bot to post stuff for you moving on to quotes you have uh, your quote system now this is the one where people got a little bit confused and it actually took me a little while to learn it as you can see I don't really use it because I only have one quote in here and this is my main Ankhbot for uh, my actual channel so no I don't use quotes very often but I do know how they work um, so first of all you got view permission everyone so you can either have uh, only a regular can view it only a moderator can view it or so on and so forth I just keep it at everyone because it keeps it fun uh, when I do use it, which is rarely. But hey, anyway, never mind. I digress. Um, add permission. Now, this one is kind of one you have to uh, you have to decide for your own. Um, so, if you want everyone to be involved in this and everyone to uh, quote your funny moments, uh, you can put it to everyone, and everyone will be able to add quotes to this list. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it at everyone, but uh, I will change it back to moderator after this video. The cooldown is basically uh, how often people can use the quote command. Uh, so if you don't want people spamming it as often, you can put it to 10, 15 minutes, whatever you want to do, uh, and it will prevent people from... Um, it will prevent people people from spamming the quote chat. Now, you have your date format. Now, over here uh, in the USA, we typically like to use the, the backwards ass um, date system that no one else uses, which is a month, date, year. Most people use date, month, year, but for some reason we had to change it up. So I like to just keep it that way. It makes it easier for me to read. 
Now your response, now this is partly uh, commands, so I can get into this a little bit later. I'm gonna do advanced commands later on. Um, last video we covered some simple commands, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm only gonna leave it at the, you know, the simple stuff, but there's a lot more advanced things you can put in here. But this will tell you, um, like you could do dash dash, uh, nice quote. So, and that will, your bot will post that for you. So without using your bot, let's say you're just streaming and, and let's say uh, something happens like uh, what happened to me the other night and I got killed or almost got killed by a Reaper in Subnautica. So if somebody wanted to quote that and when it happened, right? What you would type into the chat is exclamation point quote, and then you're gonna, okay, we wanna add a quote. So you click add. We have to give it an ID number. Everyone has to have a specific ID number. I already have zero taken, so we're gonna use the number one. And then you can say, uh, Invader Doom almost got killed by a Reaper. Uh, shit his pants. There's a, uh, there's a highlight of that, by the way, if you want to go watch me shit my pants, because I almost got killed by a Reaper. It's pretty funny. Anyway, um, and then you can do, like, dash dash, uh, Invader Doom, because that's who I'm posting it under, and then hit enter. Now it's going to come back and it's going to say Invader Doom. It, this is talking to me. Uh, I successfully added quote number one. Uh, Invader Doom almost got killed by a Reaper. Uh, shit his pants. <laughs> and then it's going to say dash dash Invader Doom. And then it'll say it'll post the game that you were playing at the time and the date that it happened. So you can do it kind of like that. And that, that kind of makes it a little bit simpler. Um, if you wanted to... Let's say if you wanted to quote a time, you could do quote add um, killed by or let's do almost killed by a reaper at 9 p.m. And and I like to put who posted the the quote. It just kind of helps, but and then it'll add the quote. So. Just for the record, you don't have to put the number one. You don't have to put the ID number. I forgot that changed. Uh, as far as I know, you used to have to put the ID number in, but now you do not have to do that anymore. So uh, go back a little bit and forget what I said about having to type in the, uh, the ID name. You don't have to do that anymore. It'll automatically assign an ID for you. Now, when somebody's in your chat, they can literally post exclamation point quote, and it's going to give you a random quote. So if I keep doing this, Oh, I won't be able to because Twitch is going to ban me from talking in the chat. Anyway, um, but let's say you're like, ah, you know what? I want to remove a quote. So if you go to quote, remove instead of add, uh, number one. Or never mind. Um, and then I think... Okay, there, there's a way to do that. Um, now I just look like a complete idiot, but who cares? The whole point of this video is kind of going off the cuff. Um, and this, this quote system has changed a bit. So I need to figure out, first of all, um, first thing I need to figure out is exactly how to remove a quote again. I used to I used to have that memorized, but now I can't remember for the life of me, of course, when I go to do the video. Anyway, but you get the idea. Um, quotes are just a fun way to keep your chat engaged and it keeps it makes a fun way uh, for your for you to remember your funny moments or things that you've said, stuff like that. And then your chat can remind you about stupid stuff you've done. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, quote system's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Um, and then if you want, you can do like you can po post up here um, like if you do quote number ID, so if you do quote number ID and then I post, uh, money sign, wait, where's the money sign? And then user, um, this will tell the user, it'll highlight the user who's trying to ask for the quote. So now if I type quote, it's going to say invader doom right here. Now, if I was somebody else, that would say somebody else. The the money sign user is an advanced command. I'll tell you guys about that in some future videos. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll, we'll talk about those later. But yeah, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, simple quote system. It's kind of fun. It's kind of easy. Um, but we'll move on to the bread and butter of this video, which is the giveaway system. So everyone wants to know how to do the giveaway system, obviously. So I'll just kind of explain this pretty quickly and then I'll show you how it works. Uh, raffle command, This you can make it anything that you want. If you want to make it uh, enter, you can make it enter. Uh, the prize, um, uh, let's see, uh, Invader Dooms, Dirty Underwear. 
There we go. Who doesn't want to win my dirty underwear? Come on. Uh, and then the timer. This is how long your uh, this is how long your giveaway will run. So if you do not close the giveaway yourself, uh, it will run for this long. The join permission. If you want only regulars or only subscribers, uh, minimum rank points hours. We'll get into that stuff later. But if you want everyone to be able to join, just click everyone. The allow multiple entries. I always say that the allow multiple entries is nice if you're doing a raffle. So like if you're actually making a raffle where people can use the currency of their channel to buy these tickets, people can enter multiple times for multiple chances to win. Kind of exactly like how a raffle system works. I typically don't do that. I like to just say, hey, one person wins, that's it. If you want to if you want it to cost currency for your channel, I do have a currency system. It is credits, but if you want it to cost a currency system, you just do fee per entry and then you do, I don't know, like a thousand. So that's going to help to reward the people who have been there the longest. If you're not a, if you're not a partnered Twitch streamer, you can kind of do that uh, to reward the people as if they were, uh, as if they were subscribers. So that's kind of nice and it helps people feel more comfortable. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to set it at zero so that I will be able to enter my own damn giveaway. Now, must be a follower to win. This one is, I like to say, yes, this is a this is a must. You must be a follower to win. The reason for that is simply because uh, I think if I'm going to give you shit, you should at least throw me a follow or show me some form of gratitude. Yeah, so anyway, uh, notify the winner in chat. This one is extremely important. It's going to post the winner in the chat, so we'll highlight their name so you will know who won. And then if you want to do remove winner from the list, um, if you want the same person to be able to win, uh, you can remove the winner from the list. Um, that's, it kind of helps, um, but you know, I don't ever click that, you know, cause I just, I, I just let it go and let it do its thing. Um, block re-entry of previous winners. So if you want to block the person from even entering uh, this this users uh, you can do that um, so if you if you do a let's say you run this for 30 minutes and you got uh, 12 copies of uh, Invader Doom's dirty underwear to give away you can run this giveaway for 30 minutes and just keep picking winners and it will constantly keep picking winners from the people that already entered so it's kind of nice you don't have to keep stopping starting stopping starting etc um, so we'll just set that wherever and then all you do it's a simple it's literally as simple as this you just click start giveaway and allow entries your bot is going to post a giveaway for Invader Doom's dirty underwear has started. Everyone can join. And then it says entry cost zero type exclamation point enter to join. So when you do that, I will type exclamation point enter. You will see entered users Invader Doom and down the list it'll go for all the people who have entered your giveaway. Now once you want to pick a winner for something, you just pick a winner and click uh, obviously pick winner. And it will post in the chat and say, Invader Doom, you have won. Please speak up in the chat. And then it'll say following. So obviously, I had to follow my own channel. So it, in the Ankbot itself, if you're actually paying attention to this, uh, it will say winner Invader Doom. Now, if you don't want to be giving away stuff to people who are AFK, they just came in your channel, uh, got up to go watch an episode of, oh, I don't know, Grease Live. I heard that was pretty bad. Anyway, um... But uh, if, if you if you want them to actually be there, if I type uh, yay, I won, it's going to post right here and it's going to say Invader Doom, yay, I won. So that'll be kind of nice so you know if the person's actually there and they're not AFK. I usually pick a new winner if somebody does not type or does not speak up for two minutes. I give them two minutes to type it, uh, and if they don't, I pick a new winner. So if you, for instance, block re-entry of previous winners... Uh, you have to do this before you start the giveaway, by the way. But if you block at re-entry of previous winners, now if I click pick winner again, it'll pick another winner. If I pick winner again, it'll pick another winner. Now it'll pick a winner from all these people that are under the entered users. If you click block re-entry of previous winners, you will they will not be able to win again. So it's kind of a nice way that you aren't giving multiple things to multiple. They're the same person, so that kind of helps. That's pretty much how the giveaway system works. Now, when you are done with the giveaway and you want to stop it, you can click stop entries. If you want to change the giveaway, so now let's say I'm giving away a, a beta for the division or whatever, um, you can click reset and it will clear all the entered users. It will clear the person, the persons that won and uh, it will completely reset it. So now you can change the prize to whatever. You can change the raffle command to whatever. Um, and you can change all these settings and then hit start giveaway and allow entries. So um, that is 
pretty much how the giveaway system works. It's very simple, it's very straightforward and easy. Uh, and in the next video, we're gonna cover the sound effects and currency system. Now, the currency system is a little convoluted, so that's why I'm only doing two topics in the next video. Uh, I wanna make sure I give my undivided attention to you beautiful people as much as I can. So, uh, with that, that's all I got for you in this video. Check out episode three to continue on. And thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And if you want to ask me some questions, you want to find out something, you can follow me on Twitter. I tweet all, or I'm, I'm on Twitter all the time. Um, you know, you can get a hold of me there. I do post all sorts of different things that I think of, and uh, I do notify when my when I go live on Twitter. Uh, also, you can find me on Twitch. I stream about five to seven days a week. I try to at least for a few hours a night and um you can also email me i mean uh, anything you want to do invader doom headquarters though invaderdoom.com you're going to find tutorials you're going to find resources uh as i make them and as i begin editing these pages you're going to find everything that you need is a one-stop shop and i think i'm going to start doing tutorials for obs uh twitch alerts sub alerts uh, you know everything that you would essentially need uh to be streaming or to begin streaming for even the beginner to the advanced user so that's kind of my future development plan as this rolls out uh so expect to see more of that from me and again thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next video